Nephrotic syndrome is characterized by a marked proteinuria. In adults, that means at least 3.5 grams of protein lost in the urine each day. Just look at this poor Scottish peasant here, fleeing with his meat cart down the Bowman's capsule. With long-standing or severe proteinuria, serum albumin levels decrease as more and more is lost in the urine. At Sketchy, decreased serum albumin is symbolized by photos falling from an album. Though, this is the 1300s, so those are probably lithographs? Notice, too, that the photos are falling directly into Bowman space to emphasize excessive urinary loss of albumin. That's hyperalbuminuria with resultant hypoalbuminemia. Low serum levels of albumin leads to a decreased plasma oncotic pressure. As a result, intravascular fluid shifts into the interstitium. This manifests as a generalized edema. Just look at King Edward here, looking a little peeved. I guess the battle isn't really going his way. You know it is going his way, though? That puddle he's standing in, causing some serious edema. Looking a little soggy around the midsection there, Ed. Interestingly, nephrotic syndrome is also characterized by hyperlipidemia. It's thought that the liver senses the decrease in serum albumin and decides to respond by pumping out a bunch of its own proteins. This includes lipoproteins, which ultimately leads to hyperlipidemia. Notice that we incorporated a liver shape into his battlefield tent back there. And hey, look what's for lunch. Lipids. Because that basement membrane is broken down, even lipoproteins are allowed to escape in the urine. That's lipiduria. Look for free lipids in the urine. Fatty casts and oval fat bodies. Dead epithelial cells from the tubule filled with intracellular fat. Little oval pudgy bodies. Pretty cute.